Hello and welcome to this Getting Started tutorial for FluidRay. In this video, we will render an interior scene from Rhino and go over the basics of using FluidRay. Once you have your model ready in Rhino, you can save the file and then go to FluidRay. In FluidRay, you can import the model by clicking the up arrow in the toolbar or by going to File, Import. Then select your model in the File dialog and press Open. Once the model has loaded, you can rotate the camera by pressing Ctrl and the left mouse button while dragging the mouse. To pan, simply press Ctrl, Shift, and the left mouse button while dragging. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Pressing Ctrl-Shift-E will zoom to selected objects. Pressing Ctrl-E will zoom to the model extents. FluidRay will also import cameras you have set up in your Rhino model. Go to the Camera tab in the Editor panel and then select your camera from the dropdown. Now let's assign environment illumination. Go to the Library panel and select the Environment tab. You can drag and drop an environment from the library to the viewport. To adjust the environment, go to the Environment tab in the Editor panel. Adjust the rotation parameter to change the orientation of the environment. Adjust the gain parameter to change the illumination. Next up is Assigning Materials. Go to the Library panel and select the Material tab. Select the Wood Library from the drop-down and drag a material from the library to the viewport. Now let's select the rest of the table. Hold down Shift and left-click to bring up some extra options. Then select All By, Same Material. Back on the Wood Material, right-click to bring up the Assign to Selection option. Now let's adjust the size of our wood texture. Hold down Control and left-click to add the tabletop to your selection. Now go to the Material tab and adjust the size. Next, let's apply a material to our chairs. Go to the Material tab and select the Leather Library from the dropdown. Drag a material to the viewport while holding down Shift. Then select All By and Same Material to apply the material to all of the chairs. Next, it's time to add interior lighting. Select the ceiling and press Ctrl-H to hide the object. This reveals some lights in the ceiling. Hold down Shift and left-click to select All By Same Material. Go to the Material tab and select the Emission Library from the drop-down menu. Then right-click the material to use the Assign to Selection option. Press Ctrl-Shift-H to unhide the ceiling. Next, let's adjust the material to make it brighter. Go to the Material tab and adjust the Emission Power parameter. FluidRay is able to re-import a model if you want to make any changes. Let's go back to our Rhino model. Turn on any objects you would like to add to the model and resave. Back in FluidRay, go to File, Re-Import, or click the Re-Import arrow on the toolbar. Select the model you just saved and click Open. Now the changes are merged with what you've already done in FluidRay. Now it's time to save the image, but let's make it a little brighter first. Go to the Renderer tab in the Editor panel on the right. Adjust the Gain parameter to change the overall exposure of the scene. To save the image, go to File Save or click the disk icon on the toolbar. And that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial for FluidRay.